This is so weird. Yeah, this is strange. Okay. All right, we are live with the draft. Uh, Cambridge on the blue side uh, with an interesting composition. Uh, on the red side, we've got an absolutely disgusting... To me, it's kind of weird. Absolute fiesta on the right side. Uh, yeah, and just... Uh, yeah, indeed, this uh, this bot lane is going to be hell for Cambridge. I think the the, the range advantage, the poke that uh, red side have is just incredibly toxic. Uh, Ezreal, not the strongest early game. Uh, Lux, if if you do hit a binding, Sorry, can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Yes. Oh fuck! I can't hear you. Oh no. Uh, that sounds like a you problem. As we continue talking about the draft. Hello? My audio went weird a bit. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, you can hear me now. All right, and I was just talking about the bot lane matchup and how uh, red side have incredible range advantage. Uh, yeah. That's been really tough. Um, what do you think about the, the top lane? Uh, hmm. Again, I mean, we always see, we always love to see, uh, we always love to see someone getting sent all the way to the Brazil. So Mordekaiser, again, we don't see that very often in a meta, meta anymore, I don't think, throughout the World Championship that just happened. It wasn't picked at all so a bit of a um i honestly uh, to be honest like just i have i have no fucking clue i suppose the ball bear is gonna win out but uh, we'll see mm. <laughs> yeah, do you, yeah do you well, actually i'm just asking so like do you do you, what yeah like what do you do, do how is matches supposed to go early game late game stuff like that uh i don't really know either <laughs> i'm not a top lane player but yeah. we, we could say that volley bear does have lock up for the uh the master you to come uh and that can be uh uh, quite a, mm -hmm. quite a deadly combo with the uh, volley best stun into the master Yi and just uh, absolutely runs down the Mordekaiser who's not very uh, doesn't not very mobile and doesn't have the the tool to sort of escape. You can obviously uh, try and pull them away and try and outplay them like that, but uh, it's gonna be difficult. But uh, I think one thing with the Mordekaiser is it's not really expected with the amount of uh, AP that um, Cambridge already have. They already have the Lux. You know, Ezreal does some AP damage as well, so they're not a really uh, got a uh, heavy AD threat, um, which you might expect with like another ADC like Kai'Sa or or, uh, or a Samira or something like that. Um, so we'll have to see how the game pans out. <laughs> yeah, the a the the a uh, the magic resistance for this game for the side of blue team is gonna be for the red team. Sorry, for the red team is gonna be very very valuable indeed. And yeah, just speaking of these comms and um, the junglers as well, Master E is going to have a relatively good day, I believe, in this matchup. Not really any kinds of any forms of immediate hard CC coming out from the side of Cambridge. The brawn passive is always useful, but it does take some time to apply it. And uh, um, the, Lux, the Lux binding also is conditional. You have to hit those skill shots. It could be quite easily dodged away with the alpha strike. Um, but from the Master E. So again, we have to be very, very careful. Keep tracking how this Master E will be doing, because it's going to be very hard to lock down this champion for Cambridge in these team fights. And on the other side, the jungler for the side of Cambridge is Hacker and Pick. You, like you said, a very comfort pick for the side of. Wait, who's playing jungle again? Volto. Volto. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, like you said, it would, I, I don't really know. So like you said, mm -hmm. a signature pick for him. So I expect this, this is going to be the comfort pick for him. Uh, obviously, I think there was still quite long ago um, that we were having the full tank one shot build Hecarim. That was like many, many patches ago. Mm -hmm. I think this uh, in these times and days is still focused on the Divine Sunder build, is it? Uh, there's multiple things you can go on Hecarim, yeah, so uh, Triforce has actually seen a, a rise in popularity. Uh, Sundra is still, still a decent item, I think. Uh, it just depends on, on preference and uh, maybe on team comp. Is, uh, do see that Cambridge kind of stacking the bot side, but Wooltool is uh, kind of engaging. No, he's just dropping a ward and backing out. Smart play, so they will get some information on the jungle start uh, on of red side, whereas uh, they haven't really gotten anything, any information from the get-go. Yeah, I'm still loading to the game, so that's oh. a very good analysis by you. <laughs> uh, 55. Um, yep. Uh, okay. Yeah, I, I, I was think how else we're gonna. Oh, some fancy fucking skins. Like, and and there's like, more. Hmm. <laughs> oh, that's Tristan. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like what the hell? No. Yeah. It's um. Yeah. I mean, and like we talked about this, like, uh, cause I was I was trying to point out, um, the hack room is gonna apply a lot of pressure onto this backline. The Caitlyn not very mobile. Uh, AD carried of the cars have no um, sort of um, 
yeah, mobility whatsoever. So again, if Trist, uh, Tristan, Walter again can find some engage onto the back line as well as Tristan could do in the last game, then it's going to apply, uh, apply a lot of pressure, reduce a lot of spacing for the side of uh, the red team, which can really determine a team fight as well. So we will see how this is going to go down. What timer do you have? Uh, I'm paused at 55. Okay, I'm. let me just, just do this. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, 55. Wait, 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 wait. 55? Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Okay. Oh, come on. Sorry, just give me a moment. Yeah. Okay. Okay, this is... I'm just counting down. So, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, okay. 56, 57. So, we have not a lot of shenanigans going on here in the level 1. You can see... Uh, who, who, the, who, who the heck is this? Wait, 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 where's, uh... Okay, it's... Well, both teams actually congregating on the bottom side of the river. Maybe the... Uh, invaders are coming in and from the red side. They already have the position in the river. And three-man group decided to walk in. Four men as well. Master Yi level one is not exactly the most impressive. But they still decided to go for it. They will run into each other in the river. Here comes the alpha strike. Has to flash away. The double flash coming in. So an absolute win coming out from the side of Rat Team. Cambridge is not exactly prepared for this kind of shenanigan going on. And they can't really walk into this position anymore. Walter decided to just go do his Raptors at this point of the game. Maybe going for a counter uh, invade later on on the top side. We will have to see. But here, Master E snatches away the Rat buff. We'll be able to walk back into his own jungle now. Yeah, decent pickup on the side of red side. They get two flashes uh, of the bot lane and also managed to sneak away the red buff. Uh, we'll see how Hakim can um, sort of rectify the situation. Uh, it might not be the worst because his camp uh, will eventually like, spawn back, so he can uh, obviously kick that up when that respawns, but he will be sort of slightly uh, ahead in tempo actually because uh, Master Yi has to then walk back to his jungle um, and it takes a, a little bit longer so Hecarim is actually walking back into the top side however that will make it uh, difficult in this bot lane um, like one false move and they don't have flashes to uh, to get away uh, we already talked about how how uh, deadly this uh, Kaden Velpo combo can be and how they can just uh, wrap you down on the turret so. We'll so far, him. Nathan is already down to top health as well. Has the arcade shift away to dodge away from that stun as well. So hitting all the important skill shots here in the early game. Like we said, we're expecting them to have this early lead. Here comes the top side in exchange. Want to go for that, but here comes the shield. The passive coming out from the side of the Mordekaiser as well. Flashes forward, Knight taking down one more shot. We'll be able to do it. Finds the kill. Can he do it? The W shield is still tanking up the minion. First blood going in from the side of Tristan. Absolutely beautiful play here on the top side. Absolutely huge. It came down to the wire, and as that was happening, there was a mid lane fight as well that also came so close. Um, the, um, Yone just barely getting away with his life. Uh, as uh, Luck still has barrier though, so. Um, did eventually win out and that engages the encounter invade coming through. Could be very dangerous. You see, you see the ghost to get away. Decided to go back in, but here comes the Mordecai. The Alpha Strike is still on cooldown. So I have to be very, very careful. Level 3 versus level 3. And Master E has to fight, get himself away now. And the Mordecai is decided to walk back. Takes two turret shots as well. This is all gonna be very, very crucial. Lux doesn't have the teleport like the Yona get back into the lane. So, again, no kills resulted in this jungle exchange. But here, the bot side is getting chipped down very, very soon. But yeah, Master Yi will be able to steal away the wolf can from or Walto. So, that is the win coming in from this uh, invade. Yeah, back and forth in the jungle. First, it was the Yi invade, and then it was the Hecarim counter invade, and the Yi counter counter invade. Uh... I do think that the Yi actually comes uh, quite considerably ahead in this, uh, managing to take away two counts and uh, forcing Hecarim back to base as uh, Sextech is getting a lot of damage in the middle lane. Look at this exchange, you wouldn't expect. Yeah, that's not exactly what you would expect uh, the early lane, where this Lux lane would go. There's a lot of early power on okay. this Lux and early, but here comes the gang. Three men in the mid lane, now in range for the Alpha Strike, so Wolfie just rooted down where he stands. Bringing in the bear just for some good um, 
it's easy to lock down Lux, but that's not gonna happen. So ro the whole team rotates down into the river, want to go for this early Drake. Not exactly sure rotating down your Volibear is exactly necessary. At least maybe they want to guarantee this objective. The bot lane here from Sada Cambridge playing very, very safe as well. The Spidey senses, maybe senses something's up. Volibear is deep in the jungle. I don't know if they are spotted out yet, but here comes the E as well, moving in. They must smell something is going on. But meanwhile, on the top side, Tristan is just having a field day. Will be having himself a plate, if not two. Volibear is channeling the recall, doesn't have the TP, so we'll be taking quite a lot of time to get back onto that leg. Yeah, there's multiple waves and a plate, um, possibly two plates going down in the top lane, and that's going to be huge for uh, Tristan. He already uh, won in the 1v1. And uh, with this extra gold, he's going to be an absolute monster in that top lane. Meanwhile, uh, Red Side didn't actually manage to get the dragon secured. I think they're just heading to it right now. But with that fire in the bot lane, and uh, they couldn't make use of it as uh, Yone was actually on a reset. Uh, as Walter is charging towards mid. Here comes the power pony. The devastating charge brings him back, but there's no cooldown on the side of Lux. So we'll be able to just dash away via this Yone. But here again, just shaping him down. Wave is pushing, I believe, still in the in the middle of the stay. So, but again, this Yone in this lane not exactly having the best of the time. Have the Vampire Scepter though, so maybe he can just stall some time to sustain up in this lane, keep himself in, and get as much C as is possible. But yeah, this Lux is absolutely running the show. Sex, sex tech, sex tech here. <laughs> Hey, what is his name? Like, wait, wait who is he? Uh, I'm not. Uh, it's uh, Kayan in the Discord. Oh, of course. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> Kayan is hunting him down. It's just the cooldown is just not enough. I don't believe. Yeah, no matter for the ultimate, so he's not going for that neither. And here, just mid lane, you can see this 10 CS up already as well. Just showing the prow is getting these prios. Prying pressure, making sure the rest of the map is doing relatively fine as well. And this Lux, I mean, once you get through the early game, it is always a certified, just a lot of damage, a lot of utility you can provide into your, into your, into your teeth. So again, this early game going absolutely fine, but here comes the gank on the top side. Power Pony charges in, but here, well, uh, Tristan decided to send him back to Brazil. Not even needed the pony, just used the ultimate to make sure he does not pay. S and the top side, 2 0 and 0, 150 bucks on his head. Tristan is again carrying Canvas forward, being a huge pressure point on the top side. Yeah, this top side is insane, grabbing two kills in multiple plates in multiple ways. Uh, he's uh, doing big work for his team, but I have to give the special props to the bot lane. They're actually CSing really nicely. It's only down a, a couple, uh, even though we uh, we talked about how difficult this matchup can be. Uh, they were even getting the push at some point to try and uh, hold them back with the Mystic shots, but uh, uh, Red Side uh, pushing it back, and I assume it will stay that way until like, some jungle intervention comes. Uh, note that Marty did take away uh, the dragon while uh, also was in the top lane and it did start the rift L, but uh, he hasn't taken that. Decided to go for Connor Vade, yeah, but he's top lane and might be just dead very, very soon. Here comes the shield. Volibear want to turn this around. The ultimate hits the full thing, and the healing coming out is absolutely scary. This is a powerful, powerful bear we're dealing with here right now. Kristen flashes forward, gotta go for the kill, not be able to do it. Flashes forward, Tristan! The boss of still going for that kill and absolutely puts the Volibear to the dirt. Again, the power of this player. He knows how many, how much damage he can take and how much damage he can take. But here comes the E. This is going to be a little bit harder to run away from this one. Channels the W just for good measure. A bit of a BM if I'm being honest. But shut down going into the last person you would want a red team. As the E was able to, it was able to cash in on. There's a bit of that greed actually coming out from Tristan. Yeah, it's interesting to note that the Master Yi was actually just chilling in uh, Blue Side Jungle that whole time while that whole top lane fight was going on. Uh, I didn't catch what happened in the bot lane, but it was a great gank from Waltool to set them up, I think. Uh, that side was pushed in uh, a lot. So uh, nicely done to come behind them and uh, to kill that one. But yeah, as you said, uh, as you saw in the top lane, uh, Master Yi just. Uh, Kind of punishing uh, Tristan for staying around too long and uh, it does manage to find a 600 gold shot down. I mean, it's not the end of the world as uh, 
uh, Tristan is still definitely far ahead, but it is some plates going on to Volibear, some gold on to Maski, and they will secure the hell. Will be securing the objective for his team as well, and you can see, yes, very, um, very different playstyle coming in and out. Walto is tr going around the map very successfully as well. The top side gank, the bot side gank, setting his team up for success but all around the map. You can see, uh, Tristan very, very ahead. And the mid lane Lux is very, very ahead of this Young as well. And bot side gank was very successful, resulting in a double kill. Indeed. But on the on on the other side, it is 20 CS up for this master. He has been quietly farming away, farming up a storm. And I mean, reasonably, that is what a master you should do, making sure that you self is strong, that you have all the items, that you can be able to pick up these uh, kills. You have these powers in these on oncoming team fights. Maybe if your team gets the enemy member low enough, but you can come in there and just make sure. Uh, the enemy team can have a very, very bad time. Oh god, I don't know what I'm talking about, to be honest. <laughs> nah. But yeah, the top line is like, it forces the Volibear to go away. The team is doing absolutely fine, and Master Yi maybe heard what we are talking shit about him. Wanna go for a play, the Alpha Strike is not gonna connect. So, again, very, very safe. Cat Breakfast this game, just a reform the player. Not dashing in, not going for these crazy plays. Really, really being an anchor for Cambridge here on the bot side. You know, Sex Tech Ultimatum is behind them, so they're going for the numbers play. Yeah, he a little, perhaps a little too confident in his own abilities. The rest of the team does not want to follow up, but Young is here. The Lux is here as well, not really taking any kinds of damage. Now going to get absolutely useless. But here comes the lockdown. Flashes away. Can't you do it? Uh, Nathan takes him down with the Iron Fist. So again, Cambridge on about set 8 and 1. This is the good game we're talking about. They are controlling the map. They are taking whatever they want and responding to plays that red teams are making. And this is looking very good going into the mid game for Cambridge. And the fight in the top lane is uh, Volibear's pulled into the death ram again. He is stuck under his tower, but he will all just about get dunked at the end. Uh, and we're just seeing the power of uh, Tristan on his Mordekaiser. One item complete. And uh, Volibear not having a fun time. He is currently 0-4. Hmm. I think Tristan, I, there was, this is, I think this is what happened. A bit earlier, Tristan. Pulls him uh, under, even though the Volibear is under the turret, pulls him forward, hits the combo, hits him onto the very, very low health. And he just knows the Volibear will be doing crux for some healing. Goes all the way around the turret and dives in between two top lanes. And here is Tom, want to go on to the top. You have to be very careful about this Master E. And here comes the Alpha Strike from downtown. Two shutdowns going over to this Master E. This is exactly what we're fearing, and He's he is not another. done yet. Feeling himself for a little bit, flashes forward. The auto is absolutely beautiful. Three kills for this Master E. This champion is absolutely bullet. Insane play by Mr. Airbender. And once again, Cambridge falling apart uh, due to a vision play. Uh, and uh, not realizing where uh, where the members of Red Side are and falling to that trap. Uh, Marcy beautifully staying outside of vision and just uh, manages to dash in and secure himself uh, three kills in a row. Uh, and that is big. We, we didn't say that uh, Marcy would be that much of a problem before, but now he's an um, absolute uh, menace. He's, he could start one-shotting AD carries at this point. Uh, and now Cambridge have to be really careful. They really have to look out for the Master Yi. And as soon as he shows, uh, burst him down and lock him up. Otherwise, I think the Master E could just run away with this game. However, Cambridge do still have about a 2k gold lead, but most of that is on the top side with uh, Tristan. He does have the ability to uh, take Master E's out of the fight with the, the Death Ram Ultimate. Um, but it, um, we'll see how Cambridge do play these fights. Very, very perilous situation there. That's the nature of these kind of champion, Master E. You give him one opening, he can snowball the game absolutely wide open. But speaking of snowball, this is what you absolutely deserve. Three people piles on his ass and take him down beside his turret. Not really expecting for that one. So the good play coming out from Cambridge and just the pressure coming out from Tristan on the top side. He is still hunting. This man would not let the Volibear do any of his crux. Locks him down in Brazil for a 1v1. There's nowhere for him to go on his turret. Just slowly burns him down. The poor Sabir has nowhere to go. 
and Tristan making his presence known here on the top side. Oh, Tristan making so much work for his team. He, uh, he roams down to uh, go behind the Master Yi and uh, to kill that kill. Also, uh, stopping the Krugs once again as uh, Cambridge looking for a dive in the bot lane. Oh my god, KM from downtown. And this Yong is just getting schooled. Uh, I don't know what I want to say about that, but okay. Um, mid lane, top side, huge, huge advantages. But here, Nathan maybe finds himself between rock and a hard place. The history is not again. This man is just fishing here at the cross. He doesn't give a shit and takes down the enemy. If you ever want these crocs, you gotta get through my dead corpse set, Tristan. And again, he is just farming enemy champions on the top side like it is absolutely nothing. 6 1 and 0. Oh, and he's, I swear, he has this item like 10 minutes ago. He, when he is backing, he will be having 3,000 gold under his pocket. This is absolutely just the carry performance coming out of Tristan. He had 4,000 gold in his pocket when you base. <laughs> 4,200 gold, that is absolutely insane. And he's just taking those crogs like a boss. He just not letting them have it, always being there for the respawn and just finding uh, members of red side just there on repeat and just taking them down. He's just absolutely carrying this uh, Cambridge team. I mean, they're doing well e everywhere else, but uh, Tristan putting in so much work. Is Bot turret does fall in favor of Cambridge, and uh, that is big. You know, we would have expected that uh, uh, the Caitlyn Velkos would be able to take that tower, but no. Uh, the presence from Wall Tool, uh, the, the Bromes down from Sex Tech has uh, helped snowball that lane, uh, and so now kept breakfast with a, a decent lead of about 1.5k. I mean, we, I know we should talk Cat a lot, you know. He's amazing for, oh, can almost hit top behind AC, but here it comes. Here comes Tristan again, this man is absolutely everywhere. You open the fridge and there's a Mordekaiser to send you back to Brazil. The event horizon shots across the sky and another kill going over to KN. And the water support is made later, but Jonah absolutely hits nothing. KN is absolutely beautiful on this pick. Four man strong push into the mid lane. This is looking like an FF20 angle from the set of red team. Oh, it, could, it should be an FF17, as, uh, that's the game timer, and it's also a 6k gold lead, and uh, beautiful plays all around. Uh, we, we've, we've talked up Tristan so much, but um, Sex Tech Ultimatum, uh, my guy, uh, he's just doing so much work on this Lux, and landing every binding, dodging every uh, ultimate from Yone, and got another one in the bag. Wow, insane binding, max range, under the tier 2 tower. Molly wants to get in somebody, he's seriously like that's not the best of decisions. Regretting his life towards it right now, finds the killing. Listen. Flashes on his turret in desperation. <laughs> Here, can he do it? One more shot won't be able to do it. The tower is not even gonna kill him. <laughs> Tristan just laughing on the enemy's corpses. This is a skill that but here comes the master E tribe as you made Alpha Strike to not be able to save you. The whole enemy team piles on your ass. And that champion may not be broken anymore. This you don't want to look for something more, but I don't have a question about this. How far is that very quickly dropping Tristan? And what can this man not do at this point of a game? Can you really kill him? That is the question. I don't know. He was just soloing Volley Bear under the tier 2 tower. He was just playing with his food there. Uh, it's just insane. And he picks up that final kill as well onto his master key. And uh, also nice play on the bot side with uh, Kep Breakfast baiting out the Master Yi using the Arcane Shift to deliver Airbender right into his team as uh, Kane's just got another one. He's just farming. What a, what a dirty, dirty kill that is. I've been, I've been on the receiving end of that play so many times that I felt exactly the pain that Vel Cuts is feeling. And that loves at this point. If someone can just one shot you with two skill shots, that's not even fair anymore. Welcome to Brazil. This is my town, says Tristan. Solo kills him under tier 2 turn for a hundred times this game. He comes to steel space. Master is walking his ass out of there, barely surviving. But here comes the headshot from downtown. Actually, take down Walto. So the first kill in 15 minutes, I believe, for the side of the red team. They were going to get some consolation. Oh, no! It's not blind. How is that even possible to have a ward in front of their base? And KN just predicts that beautifully. All right, needs to add a mark uh, just to 
pinpoint Tristan's uh, location on those trucks. He hasn't left that spot in so many minutes and uh, Kane's just kind of chilling in the mid lane, he's biting 1v3 and will end up falling. And there's uh, two kills going over to the Caitlyn uh, and that's a 1k shutdown. So uh, look at him if he can uh, carry this. I mean, it's a, it's a tall order as it's almost a 10k gold advantage for Cambridge. Uh, but uh, if, if there's anyone who could do it on this team, probably the Master Yi and maybe the Caitlyn now. So they do possibly have a win condition, but I just think the odds are stacked against them. Yeah, I mean, it is, it is, it is the, I mean, when we're talking about, it is the, on the advantage side, it is our very own Cambridge team. So we have no doubt that up to end can always find some way back into this game. That's all we're saying. But again, this, uh, this lead just seems a little bit insurmountable at this point of a game. 20 minute, 10k gold up for the side of the blue team. We can see how much damage uh, the Lux and the Mordecais are pumping out. Pressure is almost just too suffocating for the side of the enemy team. But here, maybe looking for 1v1 on the top side. There's Master Yi. Ooh, a lot of damage coming in. Alpha Strike dodges away from the Onslaught of Shadow. Look at that, would you? But here comes the big boss. Throw down the sledgehammer and kills him where he stands. The rest of the team is actually pushing onto the mid lane. Yone here will be attacked by Nathan on about side. At breakfast is coming in. Here, they want to maybe want to look for this. You can see KN still standing in that dirty, dirty corner. Want to look? Want to go fishing? Want to look for something? Again, he has the damage. Absolutely, just look at that shit. The Van Horizon not gonna able to hit. There's yeah, Caitlyn so knows damage. he overstead. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, uh, that was just the E from uh, from Lux, and that did so much damage. Two complete items. Has the Dark Seal as well, five stacks on that, and uh, the Sorcerer's Shoes as well. There's a uh, big damage coming out from him and big damage coming out from Tristan. Uh, Hecarim going for the 1v1 in the top lane, but uh, the Master Yi does have a sizable amount of uh, DPS with that, with the two items. Uh, Kraken plus the ball combo is uh, uh, pretty good against uh, the side of Cambridge. Uh, he hasn't come fully online right yet, but uh, if this game does last, you know, another 30 minutes, which I don't think it can. Uh, that master you could definitely be a threat. I think you can see Cambridge as well right now realizing that maybe they are moving a little bit too much, but here comes the master you wanna find cat cat one just flashes away. Here comes the lax ultimate. One more kill will be able to do with this E may perhaps is never too confident in himself. The rest of the team without a final boss. Walter goes all the way in. Realize he is all along the rest of the team is cheering him up on the back side. A headshot goes in. And he will be dying out on his lonesome. This is gonna be a four versus four. Still a lot of power left on game. Master E is up in 20 seconds. They have to be very, very careful with that cooldown. They don't want to fight with the members this event. Let the Master E clean up the mess. Here, want to go on to this because just gets deleted where he said that there is absolutely bonkers. Nathan try to get away. Can he have it up side? Another sledgehammer throws down onto the head of the red team. Sends him back to the fountain, placing back on one of his screens. But here comes the Master E. They have to be very, very careful. Be very, very careful with their target selection. Cambridge will be holding on now. A lot of power still. Some some sort of lockdown CC still available with Lux is still up. Kingen, if we know anything, he's going to absolutely hit all of those. Here, Cambridge want to make more last push. Maybe not the best idea. Here, they will be taking down a volley pair. Decided just to play for a little bit while. Uh, Cambridge sticking around and playing with their food. Uh, they're just inside the base and uh, grabbing a couple of free kills uh, is uh, getting a bit dicey. The uh, health bars are getting quite low, but uh, they smartly decide to back out and uh, head towards the dragon. Uh, that is, that will only be their second dragon. Um, but Baron is on the table and it seems that they, they will go to take it as they are chasing the Master Yi. Oh, I love Master Yi being chased. Just sent it back to Brazil. Freeze shot sent him where he stands. He did the line. The shot coming in from the Caitlyn is not gonna be enough. So Kayan walks his life out of there as Scamber tier only pushing down mid tier to a low. Again, they are playing around. They have the absolute resources to do so. Swap them with their wallet, but here maybe they want to play a little bit more control. The second brick secured for the side of Cambridge as well, pushing down these structures. Enough is enough. Maybe they want to draw a close into a very fiesta of a game. <laughs> fiesta indeed. We've seen so much back and forth in the jungle. 
Uh, we've seen top, play, uh, top lane just absolutely smash down the Krugs and anyone who stands near it. Uh, and the bot lane just uh, chilling, farming up until the jungler uh, comes and then just playing out so well. There's uh, the Volley Bear getting slightly bullied again. Oh, eight and one. Can you give my man a little break? Volley Bear calling thunder from heaven just to walk his ass out of there. Nasty was a big deterrent. A lot of aggression coming out from Cambridge. But they are knocking down the door of the side of red team. They in here maybe want to be careful. The Anthem team can jump out of here. The face shield is not going to do enough. No damage whatsoever. And then down across the side. And, but not the same thing for the side of Lux. Huge damage coming out from the East Ultimate. I, I don't even know what that means. But here comes the Ashley. You have to be very, very careful. Walter, you need to carry, you need to kill your AD carry, but the rest of the team piles on to this guy and takes him down. One versus four. You might be strong, but not strong enough. On the top side, more Kaiser is pushing down as well. There's no one can answer him for the side of the enemy team. Let's see if they want to look actually look for this 1v1 play under the turret. Decided not to do so, but yet again, Cambridge just for applying these pressures very slowly but surely. Oh, Cambridge played that so well. First it was uh, KN dodging out all the uh, the Yone spells, the ultimate, the Q, dodging all of that and then uh, flashing to safety and then Hecrim just using the Onslaught of Shadows to peel his AD carry, uh, uh, peeling the, the Yi and fearing him to his death. Uh, and uh, Cambridge, 26 minutes in, they, uh, they have only taken the, the mid lane inhibitor, but uh, I'm sure that they can close out this game if they put their mind to it. Currently, they're having a bit of fun. Uh, I don't mind that. Like you said, I think Ked just saw his fly flash in front of him. He is down 30% HP, and when that Master Yi charges in with his ultimate, he gave up everything. He, just, he still has his flash with him, but the heal and the armor cave shift allows him to stay long enough not to get taken down but here's a one for one in brazil he just throws down the hammer not bonks him onto the head another day in the office another day of work for tristan here yeah, just taking down a master e the most scary member on the side of the enemy team giving cambridge a lot more confidence finally push into this evidence mid lane hammer is broken up Bot lane inhibitor broken up. Cambridge, you maybe want to look for the last push. They don't even need Barrow and Bob. The wall power of these five champions is absolutely too much. Here comes the Yone. The big kills is absolutely nothing. And he dies as that's as dramatically as his entrance. Absolutely just much. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. But the Cambridge is pushing on. This is a fun game, but they decided to end it. Where it is, and then another root hit onto the enemy team. The Astro E is not gonna survive, and just a commanding win coming out from Cambridge all around. Commanding indeed, and uh, all of that, I would say 90% of that on the back of Tristan and uh, KN. The solo lane is just playing that so well, and uh, using, that, using that to their advantage and just absolutely running away with the game. Well played to Cambridge. That was, that was brutal, like, yeah. Gosh, should we join back in the? Should we join back? Oh my god, I yeah. need to like Tristan. This so, was a fucking beast on that one. <laughs> fine, fine. Take the credit, Nathan. Take the credit. What Tristan oh, Faker or what? Credited? I get. I don't get any credit. <laughs> We're currently watching the stream. Hell yeah. Oh, oh, this game, if they put their mind to it, currently they're having a bit of fun. Uh, Insane. Oh, Most God. I've ever had. You clearly have. You should have more than three viewers. True. You probably yeah. Like where, where where are the homies? Like, come on, guys. Yeah. Oh, where? Are... <laughs> There's more than three people watching. Oh my God, Andre, you plugged my stream into the general. Uh, how dare you? Woo woo woo. <laughs> that is, is so illegal. Is Nathan, is you need to usurp him now. What? Oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yes. Yeah.